write the following function in polynomial form. What that means is you're given a function, a quadratic function, written in this format. This format here is called different ways in different books. In our book, this is called the standard form. Other books will call this the transformation form, and I've also seen it being called the vertex form. And we want to change this format to look like this format, which is the polynomial form. And what that is, is when we have a quadratic function written in descending order of degrees. So it starts off uh, at x squared, and then x, and then c. So this would be written in polynomial form. So this is what you do. You take your function, and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to concentrate on this binomial here, which is being squared. There are two ways to expand this. There's the long way and the short way. We're going to do it both ways. The long way is doing FOIL. When we do FOIL, what that means is we write x plus 5 squared as x plus 5 times x plus 5. And then we take the first term, that's your f in FOIL, times the first term here, and that gives you x squared. You take that same term and you multiply it with the last, the outer term. So x times 5, that gives you 5x. Now you take your second term here, your inner term, and you multiply it with the other inner term, and that also gives you 5x. And last, you take your term with the last term, and that gives you 25. Notice that you have like terms which we can combine to simplify this further. You get x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay, so you can do a little bit of side math to expand this binomial. The short way is this. 3, you open your parentheses, and then minus 10. Inside this parentheses is the expansion of this binomial. So we're going to do the square of the first term. Notice that that's the first term is squared. Also notice that when we did FOIL, the last term is also a square. So 5 squared will give you 25. So the last term is 25. And notice that the middle term is 10x. So where does that come from? We can see that pattern, and we can say that the middle term will be this term times 5, which is 5x, times 2, so 10x. And that will always work. Now that I've expanded the binomial, you can go ahead and distribute the 3 that's outside the parentheses with each one of the terms inside. So 3 times x squared, 3x squared. 3 times 10x, that's plus 30x. And 3 times 25, that gives you 75, minus 10. And now you have two more like terms here, which you can combine together. And you end up with 3x squared plus 30x plus 65. And here you have your function in polynomial form. In the next video, we're going to work backwards. I'm going to give you the polynomial form, and you have to change it back to standard or to vertex form or transformation form. I'll see you in the next video.